Hey guys, Shane here for Pocket Knife Review. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys tonight about this, this knife right here. Many of you probably already know what it is just by seeing it. And I'm sure the name's in the description, but I've been interested in this knife for a long time. It's the Benchmade Bellout. The uh, reason I was interested in this knife, to be honest, um, was just its looks. It's got an aggressive, tactical styling and look to it, and I like that. And um, this sparked my interest, but... I haven't bought it yet, and I'm kind of glad that I got to uh, to check this knife out before I bought it. I had this knife loaned in for a sharpening, and as soon as I was done with the sharpening, I decided I wanted to, to talk to you guys about this and kind of give you an opinion on it, even though I haven't carried it much or used it any, to be honest with you. But I don't have to, to use it any to, to talk about what I want to talk about tonight. Um... I was done with this sharpening in, in less than a minute, and that was progressing through two different stones. It brought up a burr immediately. Um, it stropped in four or five passes. And then I noticed that there was some scratch pattern left from a previous sharpening out here on the on the secondary, secondary edge, the tanto. And I wanted to remove those, so I did. And I did that by swapping across the strop two to three times those 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 lines literally disappeared instantly um, that is just a sign of how soft this still is now a lot of you already know the reputation behind the bell out in the with a 3v blade they have since upgraded this knife to an aluminum handle on an m4 blade and that probably works out a lot better than this what's really confusing about this knife is i don't know what benchmade was thinking I don't know what they designed this knife for. Um, I don't know that it makes sense. And by that, what I mean is, I mean, you have, you know, this fairly tactical looking handle, you know, these swells at the top to stop your hands from sliding up on the blade. You have a Tanto style blade, which historically was designed for stabbing. Um, I wouldn't trust to stab this in anything softer than a, a beanbag chair. Um, not because I think it would break, just because I don't think I'd be safe doing so. Um, to touch on the 3V steel. 3V has, that, that I know of, is typically used in hard use fixed blade knives. It's very popular in the competition chopping industry um, because of its toughness. So why you would choose to put an ultra tough steel on a very thin two ounce bug out pretty much just it confuses me I don't know what bench may was thinking and pretty quickly after this knife came out and a lot of people bought it and popularity rose bench may was questioned about the low HRC I've seen that video I've seen them address this issue and their answer is well because we made it out of 3v we wanted to make it super tough Guys, we're not idiots. If you look at this knife and you know it weighs two ounces and you know it doesn't have metal liners, it's just a plastic handled knife with a very thin blade steel made out of an historically very tough steel. What about this knife screams tough or hard use to you? Because to me, nothing about it screams tough. Why does it need to be tough? Um, it wasn't built to handle any tough use. This knife just needs a good hard, thin, which it is, sharp blade that'll hold an edge for a good long time. That's not what they achieved here. And then they doubled down on their excuse, and in my opinion, shame on them for that. Benchmade's a great company. They're an American company. They don't even have a budget line that's produced somewhere else. Anything you buy with the Benchmade butterfly on it, you know was made in the United States by Americans and it helps support American families, it helps support the American economy. So I still like Benchmade for that. I'm not gonna stop buying Benchmade because of this knife and I'm glad that they upgraded it. I'm sure that upgrade came with an even higher price tag and at this price point in these materials, this knife doesn't make sense to me guys. Um, I can't recommend it. I, I wish somebody could reach out to me and tell me what this knife is great for because um, I don't get it 
and I hate to do that. I hate to give a knife a bad review. Um, maybe it's just not for me, but I, I don't understand it. So if you got any advice or opinions on that, hit me up in the comments. And you know, once again, guys, I, I appreciate any amount of time you guys spend with me during your, your hectic work week and during your lives. Um, and that's all I got for you tonight. So peace out. Love y'all.